Hi, welcome to Modern Analytics Academy Vineyards. If you're not familiar with Modern Analytics Academy, please definitely visit aka.ms MAA. My name is Padeep Singla, and I'm a cloud solution architect with a global partner solution team of Microsoft. The main motivation behind giving this session to help our partners to know about new features and how to use them and answer their frequently asked questions we receive from them and also the updates to our previous sessions. So today we're going to talk about polybase versus copy. Polybase and copy command are the two most prominent methods for performing high throughput loads from Azure Storage to Azure Synapse. Our all uh, sessions are uh, related to one of these five pillars of modern analytics. And today's topic touch the modeling one. So this is today's agenda. I will give you a overview of how polybase and copy command works. Then I will show you the demo. Before jumping into the polybase and copy command, we really need to understand how Synapse dedicated SQL pool architecture works. So Synapse dedicated SQL pool uses a node-based architecture. Applications connect and issue T-SQL commands to a control node, and then the control node hosts a distributed query engine, which optimized queries for parallel processing. And then passes operations to compute node to do their work in parallel. The compute node stores all user data in Azure storage and run the parallel queries. The data moment services is a system level internal service that, that move data across the nodes as necessary to run queries in parallel and return accurate results. So now there are two ways to load the data into a dedicated SQL pool. One is single gated load approach and another is parallel loading. So now if we look at the single gated load, this method of data transfer involves control node. It means all the incoming connections and data moment go through the control node. Though you can run multiple data load operations all via control node to achieve parallelism, it will be constrained on the resources of the control node. Of course, in this case, scaling of SQL data warehouse with more compute node will not help much. You can consider these, the, these options as a fallback when polybase can't be used. So now you must be thinking why anyone will use single gated load uh, approach. Whenever you are using uh, bulk copy command line operations or the SQL bulk copy operations, automatically it goes through the control node. So it is always recommended to use those uh, approach, uh, approaches when you are doing very small data movement. So on the other hand, there is another approach which we call parallel loading. So these methods allow data load to leverage the power of MPPA engine of SQL Data Warehouse. It bypasses the control node and actual data transfer happens directly between the compute nodes and the data sources. So this means the more compute nodes you will have, the better performance you are going to get. Because Polybase and the copy operation leverage MPP on the back end. So it is a recommended best practice for data moment. Now let's jump into the polybase and the copy command. So the polybase allows you to create an external data in SQL Data Warehouse that references the data stored in Azure Blob Storage or in Azure Data Lake. Basically, you are giving the structure to the unstructured data stored in Blob or in Data Lake. When you query this external data, Polybase directly access the data in parallel, essentially bypassing the control node and bringing the, directly, bringing the data directly into the compute nodes. In simple terms, I, uh, it is a very performant way to load the data from Azure Storage to Azure Synapse. Uh, it does require going through a handful of steps like uh, creating master key for database, creating database scope credential, creating external data source, creating external file format, creating external table, and then perform the load from external table to Synapse table. So usually for data importing, we use a CTAS command, uh, create table a select statement. 
and for exporting the data from uh, your dedicated SQL pool to data lake, uh, you can use create external table as select statement. So now if we look at the copy operation, it is also a parallel loading data approach, but it is a uh, uh, easiest option as compared to polybase command because it needs lower privileged users to load the data without needing uh, strict control permissions on your data warehouse. So you don't need to create a master key, you don't need to create a, data, a database scope credentials, and you don't have to run extra commands uh, like um, external create external file format, create external data source. So all those uh, commands, you don't need to run in the copy statement. Just run the copy into statement and uh, uh, you can provide all the required uh, information in that statement itself. So if we look at the comparison, both um, both are, uh, commands are already GA. And uh, as I mentioned, polybase require controlled permissions like creating master key and database scope credential, but the copy command doesn't need all those things. And as in the polybase, before running the CTAS or C, uh, CTAS command, you have to uh, run extra steps like uh, creating external data source and cre creating external file format you don't need to run that in the copy into command. And the, unlike polybase, a copy command expects that your table already created. In the polybase command, you can create the table during running the CTAS command. So these are some reference documents to get more better idea about how polybase and co uh, copy command differs. Now let's jump into the most interesting part of this session, which is demo. I will show you how in the real life polybase and copy command works. So the prereq for this demo is that your uh, Synapse Analytical uh, workspace should be created. And if you go to the search bar and search for your Synapse Analytics, it will show you a workspace here. Right now, as you can see on my screen, I have uh, these four workspaces. And for this demo, I'm using this particular workspace. And once you will click on the open, your Synapse Studio will be open. And uh, uh, if you go into the develop section, uh, so you can see I created two SQL script. One is for the polybase and another is for the copy command. Let's go first through the polybase one. As I mentioned in the presentation, like uh, before running the polybase command, you have to run some extra steps like create master keys, create database scope credential, create external data source, and create external file format. Um, so you can see I'm not running these steps right now because I'm using the public data store, which is Contoso, Contoso Retail Data Warehouse. But if you're accessing the data from your uh, uh, personal storage account, uh, you have to run all these steps. Um, uh, in the database scope credential, it is mentioned here, say, shared access signature, but there are other different ways also to create a scope credential, like uh, uh, providing storage account access key uh, and manage identity too. And manage identity is always a recommended one. So like you can see here, I created external data source, external file format, and then I run the actual external command where I'm creating the table as well as I'm providing the information where to load the data into that table. Once your external table is created, I can run the uh, say, uh, polybase command, which is CTAS, create table as select statement, where I'm loading the data into my dedicated SQL pool uh, from the external table. So like now if you go into my data, uh, look at the uh, external tables, you can see this external table got created here. And now uh, I am loading the data into the dimension product one. And you can see, uh, let me make it big. So the dimension product one table got also created. So you can always run the uh, script on, on top of it. So yeah, so the, the data got loaded from the retail uh, Contoso data warehouse into my dedicated SQL pool. So uh, now let's see if I have to load the data again using uh, 
copy command, how it's going to work. So now you, you can see here, I am not running any external steps uh, like a, a master key or database scope credentials. And most of the organization has it hesitate to provide control permissions to a user to access their database. That is the reason the copy command came into existence. So uh, unlike polybase, copy command expect that a table should be created already. But in the polybase command, uh, if you look here, uh, we created the table uh, along with the with the data source all that information but in the copy command you have to create the table first and then you can run the copy into statement and uh, you can see here i'm loading the data again from the same control so retail data warehouse uh, without creating any external data source command uh, running that command externally all that information the file format you can provide into the copy into command directly once you will run this command again uh, if you go to your data you can see my dimension product two table got also created uh, so this command is running and you can see uh, uh, my data data got loaded from uh, um, Contoso retail data warehouse into my dedicated SQL pool. So that's it for the demo. So to summarize it, uh, uh, copy command is always uh, superior than polybase and it should be used instead of polybase. However, there is one scenario where the polybase command can be helpful. Um, Usually in the copy command, you are always required to move the data into your destination table. But polybase, you, uh, you, if you can use like a create external table as select statement, you just have to store the metadata into your data warehouse. The actual data can be on your storage account. So if you look at the scenario where it could be helpful, think about making your historical archive data visible it is probably static so you don't want to store it uh, on your actual data warehouse so using create external table as select statement you can always keep the metadata on your data warehouse and the data on your storage account thank you for listening us today uh, Please definitely visit aka.ms/maa if there is any other topic into your mind thank you